Tell the story about the kid who wanted weed. I can't believe I went this long without telling it. I was walking, uh, I had, I don't want to brag, but it actually makes the story better that I was on my way to the bank. And I, I just like, when I was crossing the street, I just saw a kid, and he just didn't look like he fit in with where he was standing. Like, he, he looked like, I'm trying to think of the right way to describe it. It's non-offensive, but like, it wasn't like he was in the financial district, you know, dressed in like all Rick Owens or something like that, you know? I'm just, it's, it's more like I it just, it, I took note of him as a character while I was crossing the street. And then I, uh, I got over to him and he stepped out, not in front of me, but like adjacent to me and said, hey man. And I looked up and I said, hey, what's up? And he said, would you go into the dispensary and buy me some weed? And I just said, nah, dude. And then I kept walking. But I really did take it as like, an incredible compliment. Because I was like, holy cow, there were a lot of people crossing the street. And this guy chose me. How old was he? He was, he was under 18, obviously, or 19. I don't know how old you have to be to, to buy weed in Canada. Because it was made legal when I was like already 45 or whatever. But like, for real, I, I took it as like a little bit of a compliment. He thought I was the coolest looking person on the street in the cohort of people that cross the street at that exact time. And when you're on the street, depending on the street, I bet you are definitely in the top three. Cool looking dudes on the street. Depending on the street. Anyway, I said no, cause like, but the, the, the tweet where I said why I said no was also true. One of the... Oh, that's pretty good. One of the reasons I said no was because, like, I'm not gonna catch, like, a fine or something like that, or, or worse, like, buying weed for a 15-year-old kid. The other thing was that I've never even been to a marijuana dispensary myself. So, like, I don't know what goes on in those stores. I'm too intimidated to go into them even myself. If I was gonna go in and get over that anxiety, it would be to buy myself some weed. It wouldn't be to buy a stranger some weed. But like, I'm not even going in for my own benefit. I'm definitely not going in for the benefit of somebody else that could also like, you know, land me with a, with a rap sheet. You just walk in and say what you want? Okay, what do I want? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir who looks like Timothy Chalamet. Six foot four, 110 pounds. Full sleeve tattoo of Naruto. I would like one weed, please. I don't want to say like, hey, what, what weed would you recommend for like a 34 year old dad who doesn't partake? Cause then they're just gonna sell me some shit like CBD that doesn't work anyway. Tell him you want to go wild? I don't want to go wild. <laughs> <I don't laughs>